We constructed this prop in order to demonstrate how the window regulator works and how to explain what it is and let you see the inside that very few people ever get to see. What we did is we took a door and we cut the skin off the door with a sawzall. We cut it off on the outside so that it exposed the interior of the door. So here you can see the same regulator, the motor, and this is the guide. And you see the plastic parts that often break here and here and then up top here you can't see it right now. Now when a person comes to us with a door problem uh, the way we begin the diagnosis is we try to press the button. If we don't hear anything then we assume that the switch is bad or the motor is bad. But if we hear something we then we then suspect it's either the window regulator which is this part or possibly the attachments or some way that it's connected. That would be the cheapest alternative to get fixed but unfortunately most often it is the window regulator. And I say it costs more. Our window regulators when we put them in are very inexpensive compared to a dealer. So here you see the window regulator mounted. Now when we start to do this we start working on the inside of the car and we have to take the door panel off and that requires a special tool called a door panel tool. It's a very simple tool but it releases clips down here on the bottom on the inside that allow the door panel to come loose and then every door panel comes off differently depending on what kind of car it is and you have to sort of like carefully search for the way that the particular manufacturer fastened everything on and try to remove little plastic panels I mean everybody's tried to take a battery out of a cell phone and you know how they're sort of like there's this little door that snaps into place well there's all kinds of parts in the door that snap into place like that that conceal the screws that uh, you also have to take off to get the door panel off and once once you get in you have to get inside this door get your hands inside here this particular glass is a fastened with rivets so you have to have an expensive rivet gun and rivets to put it back on. Now, not every window uses rivets, but some of them do. So if you're thinking about doing it this yourself, you have to consider you need a door panel. You're going to have to be careful you don't tear up the plastic parts. And you're going to get inside here, and then you're going to uh, be working inside here, un unfastening these bolts here, here, and on top, and disconnecting the glass, and then putting it all back together. And you have to disconnect it here, the electrical. Now, some cars, it seems like the most expensive cars, like expensive Toyotas and Lexus and even Nissans, there's, there's another step you have to go through that's very difficult. You need some specialized knowledge, and it's called reinitializing the power window motor. These motors, some of them have a chip in them. Many, many, many things have chips in them, and these new motors have a chip in them. What it does is the motor goes up, it's counting the revolutions in the motor. It's counting how many revolutions you need for the glass to get to the top. And once it gets to the top, it knows it's there. It, it, it remembers in the chip how many revolutions it took. And then from thence forward, it rolls it up to that height. But it has these sensors built into it that if you put your fingers in there or a baby puts his fingers in there, it'll stop and it won't pinch your fingers off. But sometimes when you reinitial them, you have to go through what's called an, an, an algorithm. It's, it's really a, a number of steps, and they can be quite complicated. And uh, you either have to talk to a, uh, a man who's an expert on auto electric, and then he'll look it up in his books, or you have to call a dealer. But we've had to do this many times. It's difficult to get this information. But this is what the door looks like on the inside without the outer skin. Your best bet is probably just to go with a company like ourselves and let us put it in. A good mechanic, he can do it. He, even a good mechanic might get tricked up on the reinitialization. He's going to have to pursue that. But many of them don't need to be reinitialized. But this is what it looks like if you're in Austin or around Austin, Texas and you have a problem with your window motor, we hope you call Ace Discount Glass. 
and we're going to demonstrate it. The final thing we're going to do is demonstrate this window going up and down. You see the rivets here and here, and this is that same uh, bar here the window rides on. Now we'll go back up. Ace Discount Glasses in Austin, Texas. We're in North Austin on Spicewood Springs Road. We're one mile west of Loop 360. It's a little beautiful country road that goes out here to St. Edwards Park. We're the only business out here. We're open every day. Please give us a call at 345-3105. Thank you.